Hey peeps, what is going on with you guys? I don't even know what today is. Sunday. Today is Sunday. I just took me a nice hot and steamy shower because I don't feel good. <laughs> Listen, y'all, I swear. I have not been sick. And I'm not even sick, sick. I just, I have a runny nose. I'm sneezing. And um, my throat was hurting yesterday and this morning, but. I kind of whipped up my own concoction of stuff and my throat is not hurting anymore but now I am sneezing hold on y'all because I need to sit up I feel like I'm about to sneeze again y'all know my bad moves right I told y'all this well I don't think I ever got to give y'all the full tour of the bedroom after everything no I never did <laughs> I never did. I'm so sorry. I be having so many clips of stuff that be happening and I just don't be getting to it. Child. I apologize, but <sighs> oh my God. the bed, the mattress moves up, down, all, all type of ways, y'all. It is convenient when you need to sit up or you want your legs up or whatever. Only thing this mattress doesn't have is the heating and cooling feature. I think my husband said he didn't want that but it has everything else the massage the bed massages your body and it has i forget how many positions you can adjust the mattress it's, it's lovely it's worth every damn penny we spent for it so you guys i wanted to um come in and do a little vlogging because i do plan to vlog in these upcoming days so i'm gonna this is gonna be like the setup clip I am on vacation for a couple of days, a week. I had every day planned out, y'all. I had every day planned out. And those plans, I'm so sorry, y'all. I'm so tired. Those plans did not pan out. So we're tweaking the plan a little bit. The shadow. I was like, what the hell is that? It's the shadow from the foot of the bed. From the bed post frame whatever um of course all these plans i had and now i don't feel good today was supposed to be my cleaning day because yesterday i did absolutely nothing well we did stuff we went we went um what's the name of the damn place not the berkshires i'll put the name across the screen it's an area upstate new york where they have, you know, it's like a little town where you can shop and you can eat and... that sort of stuff so we did that it was so hot yesterday like you couldn't even really enjoy being outside because it was so hot and then the second place we stopped to eat the drinks were really strong and then we were out in the sun I was like oh no <laughs> I got to get back to the car like I cannot I had a headache oh chunky is in here y'all he under the he's under the bed but I hope everybody is doing well when you see these clips lord only knows when you'll see these clips <laughs> i was going through my phone today trying to figure out okay what do i want to make into an actual vlog what do i want to delete i don't know y'all i really don't know 
I'll be busy, but I also, when I'm not busy, I'll be like not in a mood. I just be wanting to relax. And like I said, editing takes a little minute the way I like to edit, you know? So, um, yeah. I did upload a vlog today. It's not a vlog, a haul. It is uploaded. I do believe I created a thumbnail. I think I'll release it. I'll make it live tomorrow. Um, but here's the plan. <laughs> here's the plan for the beginning of the week. Tomorrow's Monday. I have some running around to do. Um, I need to go to the bank. I do plan to vlog. Let's hope that I vlog. I plan. To, I need to go to the bank. I need to pick up. A few little items because on Tuesday I'm going to be staying at a luxury inn spa drive there. But it's not too far. And they have like themed rooms. It's very expensive, y'all. I swear to God. Like, I don't even be knowing how people be getting away with prices that they be charging. <laughs> but anyway, so he booked me. He booked me a room. It's called the Serenity Room. It is uh, themed around relaxation. I think there's a patio. Um, <clears throat> they have like massages in there to massage your legs. Um, they have aromatherapy, uh, little things going. So I think that will be great for me to do a nice little just relax, reset. Um, I think I'm going to bring my own little snacks because I think they have a restaurant at the spot, at the end spa, but I'm not paying $200 for no damn room service. <laughs> I'm only staying for one night because I have other things to do, but I feel like all I need is like 24 hours to do like a reset. And um, I've been doing this for years, y'all. I mean obviously i have i don't vlog every little single thing that i do with my life but this is something that i've been doing for years that i love to do is to um go somewhere that's not my everyday norm and be pampered or just reset in a different space you know it's so good for your mental and your physical it has been great every time for me, every single time. So this place I've never been, and they have, I think, 11 different rooms. Like, they have a room that has, like, a whirlpool um, stone tub, and they have a vinyl room where it's just, like, themed and, like, music. They can customize, you know, a playlist for you with old records. They, whatever you want set up in a room. I don't know what my husband has set up in the room. Probably nothing. I don't know. <laughs> but you can set up the room for whatever you want. Like if you want to go with your boo and, you know, you want them to set up chocolates and champagne and roses, they'll do it before you get there. But like I said, every room is a theme and I want to try every room. There used to be this hotel in Queens back, back, back in my college days when I used to be super stressed trying to pass all my exams that I used to go to. And it was so free. It wasn't luxury, though. It was like on my budget. My budget was low, <laughs> like my low budget back then. But it was this hotel. I forgot what the hell the name of it was, but it was like this down low spot and every room had a theme. They had like New York, Paris, and it was so cool. I used to think that was such a cool thing. And I would order um, when I had to study for exams or like right after I had studied, I mean, took a test and I needed to like unwind. I would book me a little room, order me some Chinese food, watch all the movies and just sleep, sleep real good till it was time to do checkout. It was great. This um room uh room this place also is a spa. I don't know if I'm gonna do any of the spa services because it all just depends how I feel. I go with how I feel. So once I get there, if I just feel like yo taking me a nice hot shower and their steam rainfall shower, listening to the relaxing sounds and taking in the aromatherapy and just knocking out then that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> so it just depends. If I feel up to, you know, maybe getting a facial or 
some sort of massage then you know it's all on site so i could do it if i feel like going to the rooftop bar and having a drink then i'll do it It just depends how i feel and i won't know until that day so that's tuesday wednesday i come back and i have a couple of appointments that i have to take care of um locally in the area thursday hubby is off of work because thursday was supposed to be the day we were flying out to puerto rico so he will be home um we still have not decided if we're going to do like a a weekend thing or like an overnight trip because he is actually pretty busy with a lot of stuff um but he said he would you know we would decide once it got closer and it's nothing to book like you know like a room or whatever if we decided to take a road trip it's not a holiday or nothing like that so it should be easy to get a room if we decide to go somewhere so that's that could be thursday friday and saturday <laughs> up in the air so if we don't go anywhere um thursday friday and saturday then i'm going to use those days to do some house stuff because we're about to start some renovations again and child it's always like the clothes for me okay i always have just like so many clothes um my really really am not a, the type of person that likes clutter so um i wanted to finish uh straightening up my closet because i had pulled like a bunch of stuff out and I just never really reorganized it. So I want to do that. I ordered a bunch of new sneakers, shoes. So I need to get those put, um, taken out of the boxes and put onto the shoe slots and into my closet. Because right now they're everywhere. And who knows? And, you know, just some other little household things I want to accomplish with my free time. Because during the week time is not as free and then the rest of the week weekend if we're not away then I'm just gonna you know at, be at home and relax one of those days I have to take Chunky to be groomed um, I usually do it myself but because his nails need to be clipped I'm just gonna have him have them do everything clean his ears give him a nice bubble bath do his nails uh, do the pads on his feet they actually um sand those down make it nice and smooth um he's a short-haired dog he doesn't really need to be trimmed or anything but they clean his tail bulldogs have like a plug tail and you got to really get in there i usually wipe his butt every day um every time he poops but he still needs like a good 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 cleaning and i'm gonna just let them pamper him one of those days maybe that saturday or something like that and um yeah catch up on some shows that i have like saved that i just have not had an opportunity to get into well today i was watching on netflix um what was it called the thickest survival of the thickest so good so 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 good and i just saw the preview and i was like oh this looks funny started watching it because i started doing some house stuff today but then i didn't really feel too good and um i was like oh this is so good i'm about to finish i'm about to just finish it up i think there's like two episodes left um and i'm just gonna rest until tomorrow and hopefully this whatever this is head cold will pass and um you know i'll be good to go so I, i'm gonna end it here even though this was super long <laughs> y'all know i got a whole thing as well as tissue i don't care y'all think i'm ghetto i don't have a box of tissue so this is what we gotta do the roll of tissue because i am sniffling and sneezing <sighs> anyway y'all hear chunky snoring in the background everybody in my house sleep okay so that's all i got for you guys just a quick little something, something, something. I really do hope you got you guys get to see this clip. If you ever see this clip, <laughs> leave your bees in the comments. Like, chill. Because I swear I'll be recording, recording, recording. But do not be uploading so much stuff. So much stuff. I'll talk to you guys later. See you tomorrow.
from 1 to 10 is a 3. Yesterday was a 0, so I guess I'm getting a little better. I mean, that damn pop tart. I'm not really that hungry. I'm trying to eat something. I'm gonna eat a banana. I have my, um, my tea. New York, New York. My husband hates anything that says milk in it. What does it say is good? It's peppermint tea. What chunky? Peppermint tea with honey and fresh um nothing for you. Nothing for you. Lime juice to break up this phlegm. Get down, baby. Get down. Get down. So, y'all, I'm trying to finish my tea. Sorry, Chunky. And then, um, eat this banana. Then I'm going to get in the shower. <sighs> you know when you sit, like, it just takes so much energy to do anything. That's how I feel right now. I have a couple errands to run. I'm sorry, my energy ain't like it usually is. <laughs> it's gone. It's gone. But just coming in, start the day off. I will see y'all in the next clips. All right, y'all. <laughs> I am <clears throat> laying down. Finishing up my tea, trying to get some damn energy to get on the road and do what I have to do so that I can just relax. Ew, I boogies. I hate I boogies. It's even worse when you sit. So, um, <clears throat> my throat is still achy. My dog is looking at me like, okay, so you home during the week while you in the bed. Like, what's up? Why we not playing? Why we not outside of these streets? <laughs> I actually wanted one of these days off to take him to the park. But early, before it gets really hot, you know, bulldogs, or well, if you don't know, bulldogs do not do well in heat. I mean, anything above like 73, 74. Let me show sure you, pop up. Oh, um, ain't really good for them they have trouble breathing and stuff so um he loves to explore he loves to be outside but i'm very cautious of the heat and stuff like that so one of these days that i'm home i'm going to try to get him an exploration date a date exploration date um yeah so i once i finish my tea i'm going to force myself to get up out this bed Get. What the hell is that? Chunky! Hold on, y'all. It's fine. It was um one of his bones, but you can never be too careful with Chunky. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. I gotta catch my breath. <laughs> um, <clears throat> He's into everything. And my husband leaves his shoe trees out and sometimes Chunky runs with them. So I was just making sure that he didn't grab one of the shoe trees from my husband's closet. So we good. Y'all, I put out a bird feeder like the beginning of the summer. <coughs> Excuse me. 
And it has been such a pleasure to watch all the different birds come and eat from this one little bird feeder that I have. I'm going to get maybe like two or three more. And them birds eat so much. Here's a little video clip of uh, one of the birds I caught today. I've caught all type of different birds feeding and stopping by. And y'all know I'm a earth girl. My sign is an earth sign. I'm into nature. I love nature. I could sit outside all day um, <clears throat> in nature and be at peace. It's just, it's always been something that has been um, a part of what brings me joy. I really think I got that from my dad. My dad was very much into, um, sorry if this going to be crooked when I edit it, um, phone is crooked. He was very much into um, growing things and making sure that I was aware of like the life cycle and, you know, everything on this earth serves a purpose. And my grandma had a peach tree in the back of her house, like when I was a little girl. And my dad taught me about like caterpillars and butterflies and earthworms and flowers and being in the moment when you're in God's creation, like a lot of that is my dad. And it just stuck with me, you know, throughout my years in life. I hug trees, I ground, I um, I talk to the birds, the bees, the everything, because I feel connected to the earth. And earth has been good to me. <laughs> so, you know, some people don't care, you know, whatever. But I really do try not to kill, like, spiders and things like that. Like, if I could let you back out into nature, I will I will do my best. I'm not going to say I never killed a spider, but um, I be trying to not kill living things if I can help it. Even, like, mice. One time we had, like, filled mice getting into the house because there was, like, a little hole behind the dishwasher. When we had our dishwasher installed, the guys didn't patch the hole for the tubing or something. And we were getting, like, these little filled mice. And, and my husband, he was like, he was killing them. Like they were on the traps and it just, I cried. Like it just hurt my heart to see these little mice. Yeah, that look like little teddy bears just dying. And I was like, no, no, we can't do that. We have to get the humane traps. And he looking at me like I'm crazy. Like, girl, we don't got no time for that. But I went and bought the humane traps so I could release them back into the, into the field. And I did and I felt better. But yeah, so oh, we were talking about... Uh, Leah and I, we were talking about Paris real quick. And I've been seeing, um, if I could find a post, I'll put it in here. I've been seeing so many people <laughs> talk about, um, you know, Paris either in a good way or a bad way. Ah! Oh, sorry, y'all. And it's funny to me because... A lot of um, truth was said. I forget the video, but like I said, if I could find it, I'll put it in here. This guy, he was like, yo, y'all be hyping up Paris like it's so bougie. It's so this, it's so that. It's trash. It's bummy. It ain't all that. <laughs> it's like New York, whatever. <laughs> so what I will say is when I went to Paris, I also felt like, hold up now. Like, yeah, somebody lied. Because there was, like, a lot of homeless people just, like, in like in the middle of the street. Just homeless people, like, everywhere. And the Eiffel Tower definitely was, like, if... I felt like if you was by yourself, somebody was going to mug you. Because it was, like, dark, dirty, dingy. There is a lot of um, foreigners there in Paris that have, you know, immigrants that have migrated to Paris to find a better life or whatever so that's also um part of the reason why I feel like you know there might be homelessness and stuff like that but when I tell you that people hype it up yes but it just depends on your experience my husband and I we had an amazing time like just going all over to different places speaking our broken French and trying foods and 
walking down alleyways not all of paris is trash because we explored quite a bit of paris and there's a lot of super beautiful pristine places in paris just like new york people give new york a bad rap because you know like we got rats and shit we don't have rats everywhere like oh people say new york is dirty trashy y'all talking about the touristy places like in new york like in the city there's so many places also in the city but in the, on the outskirts of new york that are just absolutely amazing and you would think you were somewhere else you know so it's not all of anywhere and everywhere has shitty places <laughs> so but i did think it was funny but there is truth to that like seriously like by the eiffel tower and we went when we went we went at night it was a little sketchy it was definitely a little sketchy we took a river cruise on the scene the scene river river that was pretty cool but it was like way hyped up because people was like oh it's so amazing so it's me it was all right it was all right but my trip our trip was so fantastic like i would not i want to go back my husband wants to go back too because it was a lot of things that we did not get to see and do in paris so we just didn't have the time and we was there for a good amount of time but um definitely you should go visit visit even though it's not like so pristine in all the places it's all right because the culture is different at least for us like it was a different experience you know they're very like <laughs> chill i mean people the only thing i did not like about paris was everybody smokes i cannot stand it they smoke it in the restaurants outside the restaurants everywhere you go it's like smoke 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 but that's their thing right there are some places that were non-smoking, but most places they're they're smoking. Um, I didn't find them to be rude. I heard that Parisians could be rude, but they say the same thing about New Yorkers. New Yorkers are rude and nasty, and that's not really true. Are there people that are rude and nasty in New York? Yes. Are there people that are rude and nasty in Paris? Yeah. But is does that apply to everybody? No. But um, yeah. So our next European trips are Greece um what was the other place we wanted to go i forget we got a whole list of places we trying to go and we be trying to do more things that are close to rather than just so far away because i'm like there's so much to see and do that is that's close like we don't have to get on a plane necessarily and we always be like yeah 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 let's plan something and we just be sometimes dropping a ball all right y'all let me try to get my little last 10 minutes of rest and get up out of here so i'm sitting here trying to get myself together y'all and i just saw this clip of a bunch of people who went out to a birthday dinner i guess for a friend and it was time to pay the bill and at the end the birthday girl was like oh let's just all split the bill or well, somebody said let's just all split the bill evenly and um <clears throat> a couple people was like Nah, I'm not splitting the bill evenly. I'm going to pay for, you know, what I got because y'all got steak and all this other stuff. Like, I didn't get all that, right? And then other people are like, we come out together, we split the bill evenly. So, I have been down this, uh, this little road in the past with my group of friends. Um, my usuals, my usual people that I go out with we don't have a problem splitting the bill evenly it doesn't matter that i had two drinks and you have four if we all agree to split the bill evenly we split the bill evenly because we go out so often that there might be a time the next time i might have four or five drinks and you had none and then you'll you know you'll get me the next time so i think it works better when it's smaller groups when there's larger groups i don't know I just be like, look, before the bill come, everybody has to be in agreement to how they want to pay the bill. Like, you want to pay for your own stuff, you know, cool, you don't want to split with everybody. I respect it. Like, I'm not going to argue with anybody, but I try to get that uh, situated up front. The last event that I did was for my girlfriend, and I told everybody, y'all responsible for your own bill. Because there was so many people that, you know, don't usually um, hang out together. You know, I don't know how they felt about splitting the bill evenly so i just told everybody y'all be responsible for y'all own bill and left it at that but you know some people don't have a problem with splitting the bill evenly and honestly when there's more people it ends up being less but 
you know, I don't know. I'm I also respect people that don't want to split the bill. Like if you only had like a few shrimp and a glass of water, why should you have to pay for somebody who has steak and lobster and all? I get it. But um like I said, for me and my group of friends, my usuals, we just split the bill. We don't care who had what, we just split it evenly. But like I said, in other groups, what y'all think? When you go out, are you down for splitting the bill evenly, even if you didn't have as much as the other person? Or would you rather get your own separate bill? The only plan for what's on the check, I'm not splitting the bill, Shawty. That's crazy. You expect us to split My the bill? Is, you got lamb chop. You got steak. You got some other Look at all that. Look at what all they got. They talking about splitting the bill. What did you come out for? Yeah, what did you come out for? We come together and split the bill. Split the bill. Split the bill. My thing is, y'all doing too much. Y'all doing way too much. We didn't order all that going on.